So I'll shoot you straight The only thing that takes my breath away Is you If you love someone, you will be loyal to him no matter what the cost. You will always believe in him, always expect the best of him, and always stand your ground in defending him. All the special gifts and powers from God will one day come to an end. The love goes on forever. I have never been more confident in any decision that I've ever made. And you have reminded me over and over again why I fell in love with you in the first place. So you can consider this a preemptive I do. It is a promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. It's a promise to love you and to honor you for all the days of my life. To my future husband and already best friend, today I want to say thank you for choosing me to be your partner in life. Although times may be hard and frustrating, I know we are meant to be. And when I met JT for the first time, and he didn't really say anything, and he was also very quiet. I don't think I heard much out of him except maybe, hi, I'm JT. Um, and now that I do know him very well, um, I think he was quiet because he was just trying to wrap his head around how much Jordan had spent on his credit card that day. <laughs> the pastor asked Jordan to repeat after him that something along the lines of all her possessions are now JT's. She kind of mumbled that line. I'm not 100% sure that got on record. And I used to think, and I'll be honest, I used to think, you know, it's not hard because everything seems to go her way. And I used to say, gosh, this girl is so lucky. And on a lighter note, I mean, we look around the room and it's very transparent. The family and the friends and everyone who's here, who's here to celebrate this beautiful couple, uh, this beautiful wedding. And I used to say, Jordan, I don't understand. How are you so lucky? And she told me, she said, because I'm speaking it. But truly, I mean, when this girl has something that she wants, she really puts her mind to it and it comes to fruition. And so while I used to say that Jordan was the luckiest person I knew, I think that JT is now the luckiest person that I know. toss his daughter high into the air and she was fearless because she knew he was there to catch her. My daughter Jordan, she would run at about 10 feet from reaching me, she would jump and I'd catch her. For a long time I could catch her. Now as the years have progressed, I see the way you are lifting her up. So it's up to you to catch her now.